What's going on YouTube, Geosno right here. So in today's video we have an update for the substitute for iOS 14 all the way down to iOS 11 for Uncover and Check Rain, but also some news about iOS 14.4. So I'm going to start with iOS 14.4 because this is important. Apple seems to have released the iOS 14.4 release candidate, which is basically and usually the version that will be released to the public if everything goes right. Now the iOS 14.4 is currently only available for the registered developers as Phone Arena writes here on their article. So you have to be part of the Apple developer program in order to get it. However, it will soon be available for the general public. It may be in a couple of days, maybe in a week, maybe two. We don't know for now. However, right now iOS 14.3 is signed and you should definitely go ahead and use either TSS Saver or your favorite blob saving tool in order to save your blobs. Because once iOS 14.4 is available, 14.3 may not stay signed for so long. Now we don't know anything about the security content of iOS 14.4 for the moment, so we don't know if it patches is anything important in terms of jailbreaking, but suffice it to say that it's a very bad idea to update to it once it gets out, and it's an even worse idea to update to the beta. Now 14.3 is not good either, and neither is 14.2, but 14.2 is no longer signed, so any vulnerabilities that were patched on 14.3 may be revealed in the future. However, if you want to jailbreak as soon as possible, I would highly recommend it to stay below 14.2. If you bought a new device and it comes with 14.2, Three for some reason, you should definitely save the blobs. You can do that with TSS Saver if it's not an A12, A13 or A14 device. For those devices, you can save blobs with TSS Saver. However, you have to specify the app nouns right here, which of course requires it to be jailbroken. So yeah, unfortunately, nowadays, if you want to save your blobs, you have to be jailbroken if you have a device that is an A12, A13 or A14. So everything newer than the iPhone 10 will require it to be jailbroken before you can save save the blobs. However, if you have an older device or if you are jailbroken, you can save the blobs regardless of the version you are on. So you can be on 13.5 completely jailbroken on your iPhone 11 and you can still save the blobs for 14.3 and 14.4. Anyways, this is about the iOS 14.4. Do not update for it if you want to jailbreak because it's not a safe idea. Once the final version is available for the general public, I will analyze the security content to see what implication it has for the jailbreak community. However, However, it's best not to update for now. In other news, Substitute by the Uncover team got another update a few days ago. So they seem to have pushed quite a lot of updates after the infamous 2.0.0, which although added support for iOS 14, even for the A12, A13 and A14, it did break a couple of things on the Uncover jailbreak. Now the subsequent updates, 2.0.1, 0.2, 0.4, 0.5 and so on, all the way up to Substitute 2.0.7, which was released back on 19th of January added a couple of features and fixed bugs. Now if you are an Uncover user or a CheckRain jailbreak user, definitely update your substitute to 2.0.7. This update adds a workaround to allow SciCrypt, developed by Soric, to be injected in the backboard D. Although this may not be very important for some people, it's a good idea to update to the latest version anyways. So yeah, it seems that the Uncover team is still working, is still there, even though they didn't post anything new since November, at least not on their Twitter. If you go ahead and hear, they did announced back on November that they're going to release Substitute 2.0.0 which will be supporting iOS 14 as well, which they did. They released 2.0.0 back on January 7. However, they didn't announce that release here on the Uncovered Team Twitter. In fact, they didn't announce any of this on their Twitter. So they're pretty silent here, but if you check out the Eluk Bratis, you can see that they've been quite active in the past month, pushing updates every so often. So you can see that they do work on the Substitute for iOS 14. So since this works on the iOS 14, even on the iPhone 12, 10R, 10S and so on, once a kernel exploit powerful enough is available, Uncovered can be updated for the iOS 14 because the substitute, which is basically the engine that powers the tweaks, already works for iOS 14 on those devices. The same thing for the check range jailbreak, the substitute already works for iOS 14, so you can have the experience on iOS 14 with all these changes that were added. So yeah, definitely update to that new version and definitely avoid iOS 14.4 at least for the moment. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out.